last week we had a topic that had so much attention and so many people talking about it that we decided to do a part two, and that is why black athletes marry outside their race. So um, for those listening, we want you to call in and give your opinion. You know, you can go in our chat room, also call in, go on Facebook and the like. So uh, our call-in number is 323-410-0012. Press 1 is like raising your hand, and, you know, we'll put you on the air if you have some comments that you want to make. And um, let's just get into it. There's there's tons and tons of black athletes uh, who are – who date and marry outside their race. We named a lot of names last week, like Scottie Pippen. All It seems like every black NFL head coach, um, you know, with the exception of my man Mike Tomlin. And, you know, so let's just get into the conversation. Anybody have any uh, new thoughts they want to bring to this convo, Gus? Um, new thoughts? Uh, not really, but you know me. I, 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 I hit the pavement all week, so I got some quotes that I can read from. I have one from an anonymous uh six-year vet in the NFL. I have another one just from an anonymous listener, and I have the quotes that we used last week from a a friend of ours, and, of course, I'm not going to bring their names into the situation either. Um, We're also going to have, if he still calls in, uh, Steve Wilder. He's a relationship blogger, and he has a, a blog called And She Wonders Why. So he writes about the relationship between men and women, uh, most of the time black men and black women all the time. And, of course, that's what this topic is really about, you know, is not really why they marry outside their race, but basically why they're not marrying and dating black women. So, like Jimmy said, did you want to add something or you want me to just go on with some of these quotes? Um, uh, anybody else got anything you want to add to the convo? Any other guys? <clears throat> Honestly, I'd say go ahead with the quotes, but anybody else can weigh in. All right, well, I'm going to read the quotes from last week. We're going to do a little recap. I'm going to read the quotes from last week from an anonymous listener. <laughs> kind of got some of the ladies fired up, but everybody started calling in the show a little too late. <clears throat> when we asked a brother that we know who's married to a black woman, we asked him why black athletes marry outside their race so much. He said, one, there's a lot of ghetto-ass black women. He said, two, they don't want a ready-made family. Most black women already have kids by one or more brothers and they've never been married. Three, sisters have the jump-off mentality instead of wifey mentality. Four, no brother wants a hoe. He wants a wife. That is our hoe when we want her to be. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> He's been reading them um, this hard, ain't it? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> then he said he knows that people are going to give us BS answers like white, white women are submissive, white women are trophies, you know, white girls are more docile, just to name a few. Those are the comments that set off the world last week. This week, I have um, a quote from another anonymous listener who was gracious enough to give us a quote. And what he said to us, it was kind of off the subject. He really didn't answer the question, but he said, quote, a lot or most athletes, wives, or groupies that got lucky anyway. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. And this wow. quote here, this quote here is from an anonymous Six-year NFL vet. He he play in the um in the Norris division. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna say. <laughs> anyway, he said, "quote Even if they are all out for the same things, black women don't try to hide it at all. That makes it easier not to date them." So it yeah. kind of sound like what uh, and I ran in the chat room said last week that Brian Westbrook said. He said at Villanova when it was becoming clear that he was going to make it to the league. The the white women he knew were all talking about investing and things like that, and the black women that he knew were all talking about material things. So, um, mm-hmm. actually, I think we got um, a man, Steve, on the line, so I'm going to let him on the line real quick. Steve, you there? Damn, how you know it was me? I got call ID? Got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> got you, brother. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you you, you hear uh, the quotes that we've been reading? Yeah, yo, um, I didn't catch a few just now. I guess when I called in, I missed a couple. But I, I um, I listened to the um, the segment from last week, right. and your yeah, man, I don't know who he is. I hope I hope I don't know him, but I'm not gonna even comment on that because that's just that's just ignorance right there. Like, <laughs> even I know some of the most hooded people in the world, and they wouldn't say nothing like that. So hey, but. Um, out there sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. 
But this 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 topic is so crazy. Actually, I don't I don't usually touch on topics like this on my blog because one, it can go on forever. You, I mean, at, <laughs> at the end of the day, I I like to say you know a, a man's gonna choose who he who he wants to choose. Right. Now, women, black women particularly, um, half the time I don't think some of them even like the guy. That's with the white woman. They just want to know why he didn't pick a black woman. And they have Ooh, all right. Great point. They they have all right to feel that way. But I um I saw an interview a few years ago, uh, Dennis Rodman, and and this was something that that made it so clear to me. And I add that um I'm gonna tell you that story and a qu- and another quick story. Dennis Rodman said when he was in high school and when he was in college, all he wanted was black women. None of them basically gave him the light of day. None of them, you know, they wasn't they wasn't trying to hear nothing he had to say. And this was before, you know, he didn't start looking crazy till he till like his sixth or seventh year in the NBA. He looked That's regular like good. a human before. So <laughs> you figure you figure you got all these black women. He, you know, he was he was always good. It was it was clear he was going to be in the NBA, and nobody's showing him love except for white women. I mean, what what are, you, what are you supposed to do when when you when you're faced with a challenge? You can either do one thing: you can either go at the challenge, or you could fall back and go in a different direction. So, in some cases, some of these athletes they're, they're probably going in a different direction. Which brings me to my to my second point. Um, me and my friend, we used to have about four friends that started for a major university when while I was in school, and we used to go up there for the weekend. Now we we went up there, partied a lot. We went to black parties, went to white parties. I wasn't on the team, but I was treated like I was on the team by white women. The black women, you go to you go to the black party, they treat you like a regular dude. Now I'm not saying, you know, nothing is wrong with that, but if you got one person that's treating you like your king, and you got the other person treating you like your regular. Even though you are regular, we got to think about egos here. Who's stroking that ego the most? And it's 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 almost like it's almost like to if you're not consciously thinking that I'm only dating black women, you're gonna date whoever you want to date. It's like it's like pork. If you say yo, I'm not eating no pork. All right, you're not gonna eat pork. But if you don't tell yourself yo, I'm not eating pork, you might slip up and eat some pork. So <laughs> if you don't say yo. No these white athletes women. is definitely these athletes is definitely eating pork, brother. Definitely <laughs> eating pork. So it's I mean it's it's one of those things like like who what what does a guy want? Is he is he man enough to say like I'm I I mean and how is he raised? Is he into the black family? Is he into keeping that that structure? Uh, great question. Because, and and when you look at twenty eleven the the, the everything's blended. Who's really black anymore? Like, come on. So you get this all, is you true. Get white you get unless she's like super black, you don't know what she got in her. She might right. she yeah. might have all types oh, of stuff. That's in actually her. that's a really good point because uh like you said, when you when you're thinking about egos especially especially these athletes because they want attention because they're athletes because Right, they've they're been, counting on that. That's the way they've, they've been, been conditioned. That's the way they've been brought up within court. Right, yeah. they've been conditioned to know that when you get to a certain level, you're going to get a lot of attention. So I guess that would be a major factor if one group of women are giving you crazy attention and, you know, the black women are just treating you like a regular cat. A regular dude, and right. That can play a big part in the who these guys are choosing. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, I, we, go ahead. Go ahead, Jim. No, what I was saying, what I was saying is, it's crazy because um, I, I get all the points he's making. But what, what shocked me is, like when we talk to uh, people who are actually professional athletes, or even seeing some of their quotes, is the amount of disrespect they had. Because a lot of it wasn't like, "Hey, I date whoever likes me." Some of it was, "I don't date black women at all." All I, you know, like they just disrespected the there's women a, sometimes. There's, there's, there's an anger, there's an anger there. And brother Steve, this is big. Uh, H U H U love to you, brother. Um, you brought up some very some very good points, and and, and some of them I, I kind of want to go back and address. We look at this from 
the narrow scope of, okay, this athlete is here now today, he's in college, he's in, in, in his profession, he's playing ball, you know, what is he looking at? But as you said, how someone is raised kind of factors into that. How is he? How does he feel about the black family? How does he feel about his mother or father? And these things, whether conscious or subconscious, weigh into how we how we how we date and who we look for. You know what I'm saying? And 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 a lot of times, black women being from where they're from and and the experiences that they've had. And I'm speaking in general here, obviously. Um, you know, they they don't come from situations where they've seen a black man's ego stroked. So do they really know how to do it? Or, it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think that exactly. comes into play. Mm-hmm. And also, you know, you've got, as Jimmy brought up, this angst. It's not even about, okay, I'm going to date whoever whoever likes me, whoever's feeling me, whoever loves me. There, there seems to be a pervasive air of, yo, stay away from the black girls. They, they're not the... What's that about? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right. that's that's the problem I have. Like, I don't care who you date, but don't put down this one race for something very general. If you have specific situations with this with this type of woman, then say that. But don't say all black women are this or or something like that. Like, it's funny. I find I like I've met a lot of white women and Spanish women that say they will not date their own race. They they won't do it. So this mm-hmm. is, I mean, it's, it's not like this is something new. Yeah, people sure. don't want to date them. Some people just don't like their color. They don't like who they are. They don't like what they represent. But they still are who they are. So they just go after mm-hmm. whatever. Because I always men that's like, never dated black women. When I'm, like, debating with people about any topic, you know, I always try to tell people to steer clear of generalizing off of your own experience. You exactly. know, and. You know, just like this, the guy that that we quoted, the player that we quoted, you know, he was basically saying, and and it mirrored some things that a few other players said, but they were saying that um, the black women get materialistic, you know, around them, and they don't really try to hide it. And they're saying, you know, women of other cultures basically show you interest and make you feel like they like you. He's like, even if they don't, at least they're making me feel a certain way. And that goes back to the original point that we were talking about. If somebody's making you feel a certain way, I guess that's what you go with. But I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think every black woman out there you know, is a no, because groupie when they get around. We, athletes. How many professional how many professional black women do we know that make way more money than us? I know a lot. And, right. and money doesn't move them like that. Building and, and starting something moves them. So I'm not going to say that. It, you need to figure out where they're partying at. Who, what type of women are they meeting? Because you remember, these guys are young. They're not, they're not 30. These, a lot of them are 20, 24, 25 getting married. So they're not really right. living life and meeting the top-notch women that are out there. So, right. And half of these white women don't even have jobs that they're marrying. So I, I, I don't know about that. Yeah, so she may make you feel a certain way, but... Yeah, it might, I mean, it, yeah, it could be the, the exact same thing that you're speaking against. Because, like you said, you know, half these women aren't, aren't working. So, what do you really think they want you for? Exactly. Ask Michael Strahan. Ask Michael Strahan that the white woman he married <laughs> uh, divorced him, and got him doing commercials with Donovan McNabb. His gap got bigger <laughs> in his teeth since he, she left him. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I don't know. I, I would love to sit with a few of them and ask them. Yeah, I think it's just a good point you made, Steve. A lot of times it's unfortunate, but it might be the, the 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 family structure that they come up in. I mean, a lot of us come from you know single family homes, and and it's the woman who is dominating the home and handling her business, making sure that her kids can eat, working long hours, just being aggressive. So they may not have even seen a man in the household to see their mom even try to like stroke a man's ego or or show or or be that. You know, be that that not, I don't want to say sidekick, but you know, propping a man up to let him be the leader of the household, but her being the strong, you know, you know, the strong like rock of the household as well. So that it's a dynamic that they may never have seen. So it's hard for you to act on something or or, or act something out that you've never seen or know how to even do it. So I think that's part yeah. of it too. It's 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 you know? very deep. It's a, it's a lot of things involved, and then I mean, it's also you know. Black women today, like I said, they, they got money, so 
they're not they may not be showing that love and they may not feel they have to. Mm-hmm. They may be like, Yo, right. you need to treat me but like somebody mentioned um T O last week and I remember the white one of the white girls he was dating, I guess he was real serious with her, she wasn't yeah. she wasn't playing no games. She demanded a lot from him. So Oh yeah, I remember that. Like, I remember that. Yeah, it's not like it's not like all oh, white women are just laying over. They're they're holding right. it down however they supposed to hold it down. So I don't know. I think people make excuses for what they like. If you like it, just say you like it, man. Don't don't come up with all this other stuff. Well, this woman wasn't treating me. This one, because you can find <laughs> excuses for days. I mean, just say, yo, I like I like right. a lighter woman. I like I like somebody that's that's gonna do whatever I tell her to do. I mean, don't 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 try to say this woman didn't treat me well or something like that. That's that's nonsense. Yeah. 